pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Thank you for inviting us today. You are very welcome. <laughs> Actually, I see you are wearing maybe Bolivian traditional clothes. Yes, this is Bolivian made. Uh, it's made of llama oh, and it's handmade. Uh -huh. It's beautiful, I really like Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Um, looking around, I see a lot of um, items that maybe represent Bolivian culture here. Um, yes. Would you like to introduce those Please for our viewers? follow me. Yes, thank you. I will start explaining that dress, the first one. The, mm -hmm. If you see, it's not really indigenous. But when Spaniards came to Bolivia in 1500s, mm -hmm. they used those long dress. Oh, and the indigenous uh -huh. women, mm -hmm. they decided they wanted to wear the same. I so see. they wore those mm -hmm. dresses. And until now, they're wearing those dresses and it's called pollera. 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 It's beautiful. And mm -hmm. the other, it's more for parties, for festivities. This and one? it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's in, in, in Sucre. They use it mainly for uh, festivals and traditional parties oh, from the country. Yeah, I see. So this is for male or? That's for male. Oh, yeah, I that's see. That's for male. That's the devil. Mm. The devil comes from Spain, actually. What we intend is to show the difference between dying and living. Oh. The devil is a dance. Uh -huh. And uh, it's very col colorful, and you can see it hundreds is, of people uh -huh. wearing that and dancing. So it's imp very impressive. Oh, so this is a mask that this is a mask, and they are like wear we wear it and we dance. Oh. Mostly, it's used in the Carnaval of Oruro, which, oh. which is also heritage uh, of humankind. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see some dolls there. Yes, uh, there are dolls and there are little things. This little guy is supposed to give you good luck. Good As luck. you see, oh. it has many things, money yes, yes. and some food. Uh -huh. And the story is right. that every January 24, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. we celebrate traditional festival, which is called Alacitas. Uh -huh. Alacitas meaning uh, what can you buy and we prepare everything in small, uh -huh. very small, and we sell that. Uh -huh. They say if you like, if you have little money, uh -huh. then you will have money that year. And I even see. you can find a husband there. Uh -huh. We have like animals <laughs> that represent. If you buy them, uh -huh. then you can find a husband oh. or, or things like uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. Yeah. I see some shoes and cars and a lot of things there. Uh -huh. It's whatever you would like to have it in real, uh -huh. then you, you can buy it. Oh, and I the, see. it depends what you really like. <laughs> so you can I find see. everything. And as you see, there are many little things. Yes, um, yes. We brought uh -huh. that from Bolivia just to show uh -huh. our customs, our tradition, our uh -huh. parties, and uh -huh. to share that special uh -huh. occasion uh -huh. we have. I see, very interesting. Please follow me. Oh, wow. This is my office. Yes. And those Very paintings nice. are from the most well known artist, painter from Bolivia, oh, whose beautiful. name is Mamani yeah. Mamani. Uh -huh. And he's painted, those two are or, or original paintings, oh. and that horse is mm -hmm. also painted by him. I love the vivid color. Yes, his color actually are very are wonderful, and I like the, the difference. Is, they are is. strong, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I, I know that in Korea you like very friendly colors, uh -huh. and in here we like oh, in, in Bolivia. And soft. Yes, uh -huh. we like soft and neutral. Bolivia we like strong colors. Mm, I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, you can see here. In that painting of the face, the name is Lokalia. Lokalia uh -huh. is a young man, and if you see in the head, there is like the Illimani. Illimani is a mountain with snow, which oh. is forever yes. in La Paz, uh -huh, uh -huh. so it's oh. different. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, do you have any plans to have Mamani Mamani's exhibition here in Seoul? Uh, I'm planning to have a, a Mamani Mamani exhibition. I, uh -huh. If I'm lucky, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I would probably next year uh, bring Mamani Mamani here so you can meet that uh, painter in person. I can't wait. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a wonderful person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Now, I would like you to, uh, to introduce my wife to you, Maria Jose. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Maybe you can explain Hi. to us about the salteñas oh, okay. empanadas. <laughs> the empanadas. Smells so nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is empanada. You can make with um, meat uh -huh. or, or chicken. Uh -huh. You can fry. Oh. Yeah. Please help yourself. Oh, thank you. And the ingredient, important or main ingredient is liahua. The name is liahua. Yeah. It's uh -huh. uh, made with uh, tomato oh, uh -huh. and uh, chili. Uh -huh. Locoto in Bolivia, the name. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. it's, so do I dip this? Yes. Oh, okay. It's like a dip. Oh, I see. This is really good. <laughs> Empanadas are in every country in South America, mm. and we like uh, to eat them as snacks. But uh, in Bolivia, it's called salteñas because the story says that one person from Salta, Argentina, uh -huh. came to Bolivia and started to prepare these uh, salteñas. Oh, I so see. salteñas comes mm -hmm. from Salta, oh, Argentina, and mm -hmm. it's made in Bolivia. And in Bolivia, we use the salteñas as snacks, and mm -hmm. we like to celebrate everything. Mm -hmm. If it's your birthday, for instance, we <laughs> will buy salteñas mm -hmm. and then have something to drink, and that will be a celebration. Mm -hmm. As you see, most of our culture, what we want to show is to celebrate and to thank that we are living. Mm -hmm. So everything is right. an occasion for right. us to tell you thank you. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I see. Um, thank you so much for all of this preparation today. So, shall we move on and continue our conversation? Yes, of course. So, um, you came here as the Charged Affairs of Bolivia to South Korea in 2017. So, this is your third year. Um, what has been the most memorable moment for you so far? Well, I took many trips to many parts of Korea mm. and I had the chance to meet other ambassadors and mm -hmm. I met the governors, the majors, mm -hmm. and it was a honor for me to meet so interesting people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you like travel around Korea? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. uh, I, I like to see new scenarios and mm -hmm. actually wherever you go in Korea, you can see and you can find that the country has very well developed everywhere. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, when most people think of Bolivia, the first thing that comes to their mind is probably the world biggest mirror, um, Salah de Uyuni. Um, it was also featured in Korea movie titled Along with the Gods. Why Uyuni Salt Lake is so popular? Uyuni, it's all white. Mm. And the sun shines a lot. And so uh -huh. when you walk there, uh -huh. and then you see the blue sky, mm. and then if it's raining, mm -hmm. then when the rain reflects in the earth, and the minerals that they are there, oh. they will shine. Uh -huh. And when you walk there, uh -huh. you have to imagine the salt. There is plenty of salt. Mm. And with the sun, mm -hmm. with the air, mm -hmm. because it's a high mountain, mm. it will reflect mm -hmm. and you will see the image of the sky in, on the floor. Mm. So it's like you are walking in the sky. Oh, sounds so beautiful. It is beautiful. Uh -huh. and Uyuni has been or has become very, very important for us. In 2010, there were only around 7,000 people from Korea going to the Uyuni Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. Every year since that year, the number of Korean tourists are incre increasing. Right. Mm -hmm. The last year, we estimate that there were 20,000 Korean tourists that went to Uyuni Salt Lake. And in Uyuni Salt Lake, there is lithium, mm. lithium, which is a, a very important uh, natural resources for batteries that we have, uh, Bolivia has the largest reserves of lithium. Mm. And Uyuni Salt Lake, that's where it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, actually, I've heard that Uyuni Salt Lake is a place that you cannot travel by yourself. Is it true? 
Actually, you are totally right. You, you think it may be easy, but you can get lost very easily, uh, very uh -huh. easily. Uh -huh. Because it's so, it's, uh, you have to take in, into consideration that the Uyuni Salt Lake is about 10,000 kilometers square. Wow. It's large. Uh -huh. It's one tenth of, of Korea. Hmm. Bolivia, it's 10 times larger than Korea. Mm -hmm. And the Uyuni Salt Lake is one tenth of, Co of Korea. Mm. So to take into consideration, that's important. Mm -hmm. So if you are by yourself, it's large, very, very difficult <laughs> to, to know where you are going. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I see. Um, I've heard that um, just like the Uyuni Salt Lake, which is the highest and biggest seller in the world, um, the adjective greatest or biggest is commonly used to describe places in Bolivia. Um, I've heard Bolivia's capital is also known to be one of the greatest. There is the admini administrative capital, which is La Paz. That's where the government is. But we have the capital, which is Sucre. Mm. So there is a difference. The political uh -huh. capital is Sucre. Uh -huh. And the administrative capital is La Paz. Uh -huh. Uh, La Paz is a beautiful city mm. and uh, there are many reasons for that. I think the most important reason is because of the mountains. If you mm -hmm. go to Bolivia, the airplane will descend at around 4,000 meters. Wow. In 4,000 meters, mm -hmm. you will see a high plateau. That high plateau is called Altiplano. It's mm. immense, it's huge, mm -hmm. but you ma imagine it's like a desert and you oh. go down the mountain, you will see La Paz. Uh -huh. And La Paz, it's located, it, it's su surrounded by, by, by mountains. Mm. And there is the Illimani mountain with snow. Mm. And uh, that makes La Paz different. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see also high buildings, mm -hmm. a modern city. Mm -hmm. And you'll see also like we have the, the cable cars. Mm. And it's like a spider has made uh, many ways uh -huh. and up in the ceiling. So uh -huh. it's very interesting. It's different. Mm -hmm. I see. I've heard Bolivia acknowledges its um, language and culture of its indigenous people. And it actually has the largest number of national languages in the world. Yes, Bolivia is a, it's called plurinational state of Bolivia. That means that there are 36 nations living in Bolivia. Wow. With Spanish, mm -hmm. there are 37 languages that are spoken in mm -hmm. Bolivia. Wow. Before the Spanish conquered um, South America, mm -hmm. there were indigenous people mm -hmm. that we know that they came from Asia. Mm -hmm. So in Bolivia, the largest population are Asian descendant. So, uh, it was very interesting to me to learn that uh, Aymara, which is spoken by one third of the population of Bolivia, mm. is a language which is very similar to Korean. Oh, the uh -huh. grammatic of the Hangul mm -hmm. is very similar to, to the alphabetic, uh, uh -huh. well, to the, to the syntaxis, to mm. the grammatic of Aymara. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. And I've heard the name Bolivia was also derived from a historic figure. Uh, what's the history behind it? Well, Simon Bolivar is the liberator from many countries in South America. Mm. And Bolivia has kept the spirit of uh, Simon Bolivar alive. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Bolivar is a hero not only for Bolivians, but for, for many other South American countries. We share a common hero, with, which is uh, who is Simon Bolivar. Mm, I see. Um, speaking of independence, on August 6th, there was a special event in Korea to celebrate Bolivia's 194th anniversary of independence. Um, our team was also there, so let's take a look together. Mm, great. Amid the Seoul summer heat, it's the busiest time of the year for Chargé de Fer Osio as he prepares for the 194th anniversary of Bolivia's independence. It can't be compared to the size of the celebrations back in Bolivia, but he's done his best to share this meaningful day with many guests. A lot of people have come to celebrate Bolivia's independence, including many diplomats from Bolivia's neighbors, 
These countries share a similar history of having to win their independence, so they feel Bolivia's Independence Day a little closer to their hearts. We Latin America, we share a lot of common things, and so I feel like home being here today. We have a lot in common. We are, we are brothers, Latin American brothers. Chargé de Fer Ocio thanked the guests for coming and also talked about the historical significance of Bolivia's Independence Day. Hasta que el 6 de agosto de 1825, la Asamblea General de Diputados del Alto Perú creó la República de Bolivia en homenaje a nuestro libertador Simón Bolívar. Latinoamérica está unida porque compartimos la región, la cultura y el idioma. También nos unen nuestros héroes comunes. The guest for this special event was Im Byung-soo, a pop icon of Korea in the 1980s and also a Korean Bolivian. Viva mi patria Bolivia, una gran nación. Viva mi patria Bolivia 라는 노래는 두 번째 곡가라고 생각하면 됩니다. 예. 우리나라의 아리랑은 많이 부르게 되잖아요. 예. 그런 것처럼 비바 미 파트리아 볼리비아를 많이 부르게 부르지요. 제가 어 어렸을 때, 4살 때 볼리비아로 이민을 갔어요. 아마 그때가 아, 한국 사람으로서 거의 뭐 남미의 어, 이민 간 가족 중에 아마 첫 번째, 두 번째 아니면 세 번째 정도 됐을 거예요. 제2의 고향이지요. 그래서 볼리비아에서 학교도 다니고 또 오랜 시간을 보냈기 때문에 오늘 같은 날 제가 또안 오면 안될것 같고. Celebrating Independence Day in Korea was a chance to experience Bolivia's passion. And we hope the friendship between Korea and Bolivia grows ever stronger. This event can help us in familiarizing with Bolivia. And I think that people know more about Bolivia. And after this event, I believe that we could say that people became closer to Bolivia. Um, I believe this was the sixth time Bolivia celebrated its independence in Korea. Um, how did celebration abroad help promote Bolivia's um, presence? There are many, many meaning for a National Day celebration. When I prepare a National Day celebration, in my mind is to say thank you for those people that, he, that have been uh, grateful and actually in Korea because of many different circumstances our closer friends are the, the South American, the Latin American group. So we all get together mm -hmm. and with the authorities of the, the host country which is Korea we it's like a commemoration. I show my gratitude to all the people that right. have been nice to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. Um, now let's talk more about our bilateral relations. Um, we established our diplomatic ties in 1965, and since then I believe we have been maintaining very good relations. Um, what is the current status of our um, cooperation and exchanges between two countries? Right now, the economic cooperation that Korea provides to Bolivia is very important. Mm. Uh, the framework for that cooperation is under, under what we call patriotic agenda, which means that our vision for that is that we want to eradicate poverty from Bolivia. Mm. And for that, Korea help us in four main sectors. Mm. The first sector is uh, health and sanitation. Mm -hmm. Korea supports us in providing uh, a comprehensive, comprehensive uh, review of how to deal with that problem. Mm -hmm. Then we have transportation. Mm -hmm. Bolivia is a large country and the connectivity in Bolivia is not so well developed. Mm -hmm. So Korea has given us support also and for, for example, Korea built the largest uh, bridge in Bolivia, in Santa Cruz. Oh, uh -huh. uh, largest, uh, one kilometer, 500 meters bridge mm -hmm. that was constructed with Korean help. Mm -hmm. Then we have like energy, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. another important sector. So Korea support us in giving us some uh, master plan for the energy sector. Mm -hmm. And also the, the last and not least important sector is rural development. Mm -hmm. We have uh, something which is very similar to Samaldong, which is the well-being, mm -hmm. vivir bien in mm -hmm. Spanish, mm -hmm. which means that we want the, the people, the farmers, that uh, they, they keep the same way they are living now. Mm -hmm. And we like to preserve the culture, to preserve the, uh, how the way they are doing things, mm -hmm. and that's very important for us. Mm -hmm. So Korea has been very, very important in the cooperation it's given to us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see. So there's a lot going on between our two countries. Yes, and mm -hmm. also in terms of, of uh, trade, Korea is very important to us. Mm -hmm. In trade, we export silver, lead, and zinc, mm -hmm. and we export like uh, in the last four years, Bolivia had, has a surplus of $1,500 million. Mm -hmm. So it's an imp important trade. But most of our exports to Korea, mm -hmm. most of our exports are minerals. Mm -hmm. So that means that Korea use mm -hmm. that natural resources and adds more value mm -hmm. and then sell to everywhere uh, the industrialize those natural resources that buy from Bolivia. Mm -hmm. So it's a both win-win cooperation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm very looking forward to more cooperation and exchanges between our two countries. Yes, yes. Um, I'm curious, uh, what's the image of Koreans to Bolivians? I think one big obstacle we have and we face is language. Mm -hmm. Language is a problem. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think there are many similarities between both cultures. Mm. And Bolivians are very interested in Korean culture. As you see, K-pop is very, very popular in Bolivia, mm -hmm. also Taekwondo. I think you have a very good uh, television also, because whenever you prepare a program and it's translated and goes to Bolivia, I think that people like it. And you are very professional. Most of Koreans, we can see that they are very professional. And we want to follow the example and the standard and that they are uh, establishing for all the other people in the field. No? Mm -hmm. I see. Um, lastly, do you have anything that you would like to achieve during your post here? Well, I am in Korea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in that way, what is important is to meet people, to meet mm. politicians, because friends mm. make mm -hmm. the, the policy, they decide. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's important to meet people mm -hmm. that in the future would help us in the right. bilateral relations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. What do we want to achieve in, in doing so mm -hmm. is actually when a country is friend of another country, with both countries work for the mutual benefit of our peoples. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's actually mm -hmm. the goal of us. I see. Um, thank you so much for having us today here. And I really looking forward to your plans as the charged affairs of Bolivia to Korea. Thank you very much for this opportunity you has provided uh, the Embassy of Bolivia here and I'm very grateful you and your team visited us today. Thank you. Thank you.